Hi everyone, this is Sandra. I just wanted to share with you this um, another needle book that I made. And this needle book um, is being made for my friend Tilly. And Tilly recently seen a couple other um, um, needle books that I made and she mentioned to me that, oh, I really want one of those needle books. And it is her birthday, so we're actually celebrating later today, and this needle book will be one of her gifts that she will be getting. So I just wanted to share it really quick. So here's just a little, um, you know, charm kind of I added here to the front of the book, and I used just a, you know, little um, bobbin here and put some little bit of lace on there and these are really cute little buttons that I stuck onto um, each side of the bobbin and this is just a um, you know a threader and I punched a hole in it and added a little eyelet and it'll you know she can take it off and use it um, if she needs to and then I just made this cute little flower on the front and added some little, uh, um, what is this, an applique here. And more trim all the way around the book. And then it's all, it's tied with all of this same binding here. And sorry for my messy hands. None of this is coming off my hand. So um, I'll have to get that off later, but it won't get on my book. So. Um, here's the inside. I just have a little another little applique here in the front and this is a thread card so she can add different colors of thread um, whatever she needs here and then tons of pins. I just loaded it up with different pins and so she could see you know she can just use use this for different sizes. Again I left this part open so when I made this this is open here, so it's really nice and easy, so you can get your pins in and out of. Here is um, inside pocket or um, page, and this this here will hold your for your long needles. And also, again, I left this open, so you can just thread them through, and then you know stick the bottom end inside, which is great because then you won't poke yourself. And then the inside um, page here is for your, more for your little needles. And then, you know, I figured these will be for little, and then these on the side are for your longer needles. So there's lots of room in there. I just kind of put these pins in here so she could, you know, decide what, what type of needles she wants to fill it with. Um, and then I also added um, to this one, this back page here and actually I when I made um, the needle book uh, who was that for actually uh, was it my needle book mm, yes the needle book I made for Pansy Pansy men mentioned that she was going to put her scissors on the back side of this page and I'm like, oh, I should have done that myself. Anyway, um, so I, I did that here with this book. And Tilly's favorite color is purple. So I found a pair of these really cool, uh, you know, scissors. And I had to buy them for her um, in the purple since that's her favorite color. And so those go down in there. They, they kind of look, <laughs> they don't quite go with the vintage theme but they're her favorite so I thought she'd like that um, so I hope you like it Tilly I also made a little um, a leather little card um, you know just like the front uh, card and this one I just sewed some buttons on there and also put some little snaps on this one and um, so that fits perfectly in this pocket here on the side so there we go. That is Tilly's little needle book, and I hope you like it, my friend. Um, so I will be uploading this video and sending it to her. She's not on YouTube, but she does catch the videos. So 
Um, I hope she really likes it. So thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.